try it again now. We're in action. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All good. Yes, can you All hear right. me? Yes. Um, just so you know, I reset um, the settings on here, so it's automatically recording now. Okay. So you're good on that. Thank you. So I don't have to even press that. Correct. If you can spotlight your screen, then. I remember I read about that. That was the next thing I was going to do. So let me see if I can figure out how to do that. And if not, no big deal. As soon as everybody goes on mute, it'll spotlight you anyway. Okay. Um, I, I was trying to find that earlier to see about spotlighting, but I can't seem to, I know you said I was located in different spots, but I can't seem to understand. I see gallery view and I see speaker view. Okay. Um, do you have the participant list up on the side? Uh -huh. Yes. If you go to your name, um, MBCC FitRec. Yes. You hover over it, it should say more. Yes. Actually, does it? Just rename um, and add. Okay, so if you click on more, it'll give you a drop down and you should be able to spotlight it from there. It says rename and add profile picture. Weird. Yes. Okay, well, I'll just make sure everybody's on mute and then you'll be good. You'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everybody. We're just working a few technological things here out. So thank you for your patience. Everybody, make sure you guys grab your um, foam roller. We're going to do a bunch of foam rolling today. So grab your foam roller. You can also, you know, if you need a modification, use your fingertips, palm, hand. So you do not have to have a foam roller. But if you do want to have one at home, please grab that. You need a mat. We're going to give our lower body a lot of love. <laughs> what a gorgeous, uh, I got it. I figured it out. Woo, 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 woo. Thank goodness on the other side of my camera, everybody, you should be grateful. I have an almost 17 year old every time. Thank God. I don't know what I would do without my daughter. Technology is comes easier to them. <laughs> Dan is giving you two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are going to get started. We're running a minute or two late. Just thanks for your patience. So I can leave myself like this, Jana, and be okay? Okay, thank you. All right, then we are going to get good to go. Everybody grab your foam roller. Meet me on the mat. We're going to be started with our seat. Everybody should be able to see me. We're going to start with our feet out in front of us. It's my really large foam roller. I would encourage anybody, if you can see kind of like how much bigger this is um, than me compared to typical foam roller. This is another one if you guys ever have an option and you want to look into something um, online or it's a great investment for yourself. Um, I know times, it, it, times are rough, so like I'm not saying you have to go buy something. But if you ever do, um, it was a gift that was given. Uh, birthday's coming up. But it's a really long foam roller, but it takes up the whole body. So there's a couple of other things you can do with that. So just I brought that out today again to remind you about this. 
but we're going to use the normal one we have. But we're going to start first just with a few stretches. I'm going to have you lift all the way up, come all the way to the top, just hold here, shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath in. Ah, oh, what a gorgeous day it is if you're outside. If you're inside, it's still a beautiful day. We're going to take a nice slow deep breath in and we're going to release to a forward seated fold. To hold either right here, right up below the feet, right at the arch, or at the ankle, shin, thigh. Wherever is comfortable for you, I want you to tuck your chin and just hold for 30 seconds to get our bodies warmed up, get those hamstrings warm. I want you guys to stay in that. I'm going to get up for a second just to mute everybody. This is my first time doing this, so I'm going to mute everybody just so that we don't have a lot of feedback. Stay in that forward fold, please. Try to point those toes now and come down. And slowly roll up, coming all the way up, lifting those hands again. Give the shoulders some love for a second. Just kind of reach up into the sky, side to side, reaching a little bit further each time. Shoulders back and down each time you go. Flex the feet, point the feet. All we're doing is warming up our body. Start to open and close the fists and hands. Eye gaze to the sky, not at me or your ceiling. And release. All right, I have one awesome hip opener we're gonna do before we start the foam rolling. What I want us to do is come together. And if this is possible, if this is not in your practice, that's fine. But if you can, I want you to bring your foot up. And this is going to look kind of awkward. This is something I started doing myself. It's a new one I have been studying about. Putting our leg here and taking this leg and crossing it over and placing it on the knee. Now you're going to notice this enormous amount of distance between. That's my flexibi flexibility. Not there all the way, which is fine. So I like to be real with you guys. It's not like I'm going to be in a perfect position. This is where I am today. So you place that foot up there and you let this open. Now, this probably is enough for you. I don't know about you, but this foot is just sitting right above the knee and this hip, both hip, sit bones are on the ground, hips are squared to the front, knee is over foot. Does, you should be able to feel that. That should be a very intense stretch, just that. For some of you, you might be able to come pretty flat to this foot. If that is the case, that's your flexibility, that lengthening to strengthen, right? Our goal is going to be in this, we're going to use this as our tool to see how this class is working for us and how much stretching you're doing. So each week, right, if we're doing this each day a little by little, this knee should come closer to my foot. No wonder I have problems with my hips. <laughs> That's why I do this class. Or knees, too. So what I want us to do is lift up, and we're going to slowly, if you have it and it doesn't hurt, like a nice sharp pain, you're going to reach forward. Oh my, and that should take your breath away. You're welcome. Nice deep breath in through the nose and release. If somebody does not feel this, I'll be very interested to see that you do not feel something from this. What was my eye modification? You don't even have to go down. You can just sit here. This is enough. Wherever you are today, we're going to hold this for another 30 seconds. I want you to think about bracing your core. So when you tip forward, just like you have a puppet string, you're gonna come forward through the hip and hold. There's a purpose between every movement we do. And if this takes your breath away a little bit, that is okay. It's no different than foam rolling. We're getting deep, deep, deep into these stretches. Notice, even just in this short time, if you'll see this, you see how the, this has gotten less? Can you imagine if I did this for like a few minutes a day? And now release. We're gonna go back in one more time. Let yourself lower hips square to the front. Zip yourself up and forward fold. Walking the hands and if you can, tuck your chin to chest and hold. Keep some activity in the toes. 
keep yourself a little bit of alive with those toes. You're welcome. This is a great stretch. You're so welcome. Ah, this is like a wincing stretch. 10 more seconds. Don't let those shoulders creep up. They want to, they want to overtake it. Let it go through the hips. Breathe. Three, two, and release. Slowly, fully come out of it. Lift this leg safely, cross it down to the ground. Take your other leg <laughs> and release. Bring this leg in, okay? We keep ourselves together, foot active. Take this leg over and now you might have an entirely new situation on your other side. So for me, it's a little bit harder even to get my leg up here. I mean, can I get any more real? I'm like one thing. Ugh. Get this knee up, leg up, hip squared. Try to keep yourself in line. And remember what I told you, this is a perfectly fine modification. Not just a modification though, also this is a perfectly fine start. This alone should be extremely probably tight for most of you. I'd be shocked that most of you guys are not tight, especially if you've been sitting a lot walking a lot, biking a lot, which these are the things we can do, but we're only in like one plane of motion. Now I want you to take a deep breath, lift this leg up a little bit. We're gonna go back into it deeper and we're gonna walk those hands start to go forward. Now you want to start to take over with your, your gut kind of wants to fall, your shoulders kind of wanna come up, right? You kind of wanna like this, right? No, you've got to zip up. Sit tall, hip squared, tip forward, tip, 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 and just walk those fingertips out. That's much more like, oh gosh, almost you want to cry, or is it just me? Do not forget to breathe in and out. The more you breathe, the more effective these stretches are going to be. Now slowly walk yourself back up. One side might be tighter than the other this side for me. Take a nice deep breath. We're going to do this one more time, tucking the chin to chest, zipping up as we come forward and hold for 30 seconds. Good luck. At any time you want to come out of it, sit up and go back in. But I am going to encourage you to breathe in through the nose. Shoulders away from ears, remind yourself, don't let that gut just start to just fall in. Brace your core while you're doing this. Keep, keep your eye gaze down towards the mat. You have five seconds. Three, two, and safely release up. Okay, safely bring this foot to the ground and release. Whoa. So did anybody feel that? I feel like you should have felt that <laughs> if you didn't. Well, I don't believe you didn't. I wish you could all come off mute for just a second. But I am going to challenge you when I see you on Wednesday to have done that every single day for one and a half minutes, 90 seconds, each leg, every single day from now until Wednesday. I'm challenging myself to it. So I'll hold you guys to it, okay? Every leg, 90 seconds. Take your foam roller. Let's do some business here. Take, place it, lowest part, right, but love the ankle bone. We're gonna do the calves here. Now, I'm gonna come in, come in an angle. It'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see me. And all I'm gonna do is we are gonna do some rolling. You know the levels, so we can have both legs on, just kind of rolling back and forth. It's an active stretch, kind of pushing and melting ourselves into it, right? Kind of moving our legs around, moving our feet around. Another is to do one leg at a time. So I'm going to cross over, lifting myself up and rolling, letting that foam roller start to work out. Oh, dear. That tight fascia. 
So we want to just come right to mid calf. We're not going to go much higher than that and roll back down. Come to mid calf. We're going to do this four times, whatever level. Another level, you can don't have to lift yourself off the ground. You can still do it with one leg on top as a level two. Now, we're going to move east to west, so side to side for four. Everything we're going to do is in four. So I'm going to lift myself up, and I'm going to go side to side for four. Right in that same spot. If my wrists start to get tired, I can let myself stay on the ground. No big deal. Take, and for four, we're going to do like a U shape, okay? So like an up or down rainbow, I guess you want to say, or a U. And you're just going to take this and kind of dig it in to the foam roller. But this time, I want you to think about going all the way in, side to side. You should effectively feel that ah, fascia that's really tight start to want to react back to you. Slowly breathe and push through that. Unless it's a knife-like sharp pain, it's supposed to be mm, kind of like, mm, just uncomfortable. Not really fun, but whatever, <laughs> got to do it. All right, now kind of release. We're going to move to the meaty part of the calf now. So when you look forward onto me, do you see how like both parts of my calf are hanging over? My foot is down, you can't even see my foot. So if your foot's like this, that's not the correct way. I need you to put your foot towards the ground. Gravity, right? Like gravity, just let it hang. And we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna roll forward and back. This is level one. Level two, you can cross that leg over and roll forward and back. You should feel this. And level three would be to come off the ground like an inch or so. Shoulders, elbows, wrists are in a line, and you're rolling forward and back for four. Now, if you're wincing or making a, a face at all that looks like this, that means you're doing it correct. You don't want to go too fast. Now we're going to go side to side like that rainbow. Let's think about a rainbow more like a normal rainbow. And then we go a U, an upside down rainbow. So the forward rainbow is east to west. We're gonna roll side to side. And if it kind of wanted to take your breath away, that's okay. If you hit a spot that's tight for me, so like right now this spot is a little bit tight for me, like on the outside of this. So I'm gonna stay there and I'm just gonna let it hang and I'm gonna breathe. It's your body. You know what's best for you. And now we're gonna try that upside down rainbow. So like a U, think about it making a U. So you're gonna take that muscle and kind of dig it in. Four, three, wincing and making that noise is normal. Two, one. And now release this leg and kind of shake it out. Kind of roll your ankle around a little bit safely one way, roll it the other way. And release. Okay, we're gonna move to the other leg. Aren't you excited? This time, again, we're gonna go from right above the ankle bone, mid calf. So we're gonna do the two sections here, this section and then this section. I find it more effective to do both because I think this section down here is what leads to a lot of feet issues and plantar fasciitis, so you really want to loosen up this section down here. I'm not going to use technical terms. Just follow my lead on that. So remember, forward and back for how many? Four. I pretend like you're answering me. And then now, your favorite, the rainbow, so that east to west. Now, I want you to think about this. Remember, you've got to roll one way. Whoa, there went my ear pod. And now you've got to roll all the way the other way. But it's got to go all the way to the side, okay? And then you're going to go back all the way to this side. And take your time. How about if I told you six, five, four, three, two, one? You've got two more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four three, two, 
one, whew, and one more time. That's how slow I want you to go. Awesome. And now do that digging, kind of that melting into that. Digging and melting are very different, extreme words. I guess one of you could think of melting. One of you could think of digging. Apparently, I'm a little bit more harsh on the term. I'm going to melt into it. I'm going to melt my body so, so happily. Okay. And then that's enough. You should only spend about maybe 90 seconds on each. <laughs> Take your breath away. Muscle group. About 90 seconds, okay? So now, remember that meaty part of my calf? So remember, both parts fall down on both sides. Knee, right? Where's the foot? Is it up here? No, down. We're gonna go forward and back. Four. If you do five, it's okay. Now, what if I challenge you to make this one, these last two really slow? So what if I challenge you to do it like this? So we're gonna come from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't hit the knee. Come back. One, two, just the mid calf. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is almost torture. You're welcome. Oh, I'm having to do the same thing to myself. So I think the best part about LinkedIn is strength and bone rolling. But I have absolutely no feedback, really, when you're in the middle of this, because how could you even come to your computer? And I'm, like, guessing the noises you're making. Okay, hold. <sighs> okay, let's do this again. Now, we're going to make that rainbow with the meaty part of our calf. One might be harder than the other. And we're going to roll side to side. Now, do you understand see how I'm coming all the way over? So you see almost my whole calf here, right? So when I come back to this side, all of this is exposed. That's how much I need you to rotate it. That's without anything on top of it. If I come to this level, the pressure is going to be a lot more. So, like, I don't even want to do that today. This leg is a little tighter. But I can stay with a crossover and just not lift myself off the ground. Okay. I never promised you, like, this was going to be any fun, did I? I was thinking we hadn't foam rolled in a while, and then I was like, maybe I, it's because I should, and it's because I think the class is just a lot of wincing, but anybody who is in my class knows all we did for the, like, basically last, uh, last one, and now think about that under, like a U. Remember, like, digging your melting, whatever you decide to look at it. Uh, the last, like, 30 minutes of class was usually about 50 minutes long. Was everybody pretty much like, ah! And I would just, like, laugh and take pictures of my face of everybody's faces, including myself, because we were all sweating and dripping sweat from so much foam rolling. But y'all kept coming back. And actually, people started getting rid of injuries and were having their workouts be better. Isn't that awesome how that works? Okay. That's enough on that. Take that out. Kind of move your ankle again. Remember how we did this? Rotate that ankle safely one way. And then come and safely roll it the other way. Point and flex a few times. Awesome. All right. Let's get to the quads. Try to do the lower part of our body. So I'm going to come at you, safely walk yourself back. If you can, you can do one leg at a time or both sides at a time. Or if you get a larger foam roller, you might be able to do it on that. What you're going to do is you're going to try to take yourself and balance either one leg or both legs. I'll do one to show you. And all you're going to do is you come into like a plank position, okay? And it does not come uh, below the kneecap. So you want right above the kneecap, and then you're going to roll right like the hip flexor okay so what I want you to do is for me like I'm going to come on both of them I can just do both at one time so I'm going to walk towards you I'm going to be really close with you and we're just going to walk back and forth if you have your toes on the ground 
that's going to be level one, taking your toes off the ground, keeping yourself in like a plank like position. Okay, think about it in a plank. So the shoulders, elbows are in a line, you're pushing through your forearms, and you're rolling back and forth one leg or two leg at a time. Slowly. Now this is going to be an absolute challenge. You're right above you can army crawl your elbows if you need to. I'm like so close to you. This is kind of fun. I'm going to ask you to take 10 seconds to get to the top. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, okay. And now you're going to have to brace that core to get back. 10, 9. Try to lift one toe even. 6, if not both. 3, 2, and hold. Now I want you to go to the middle part of the calf or somewhere that's tight on that calf. I mean, a thigh. And what we're going to do is that rainbow. Ah, okay. If you're on one leg or two, what we're going to do is we're going to roll side. Oh, you're going to feel every tendon, every ligament, and then you're going to go to the other side. You're shifting your body weight one side to the other, keeping your hips squared to the ground, keeping your chest and shoulders squared to the ground. Your eye gaze is not on me. It's on the ground. Keep your neck in line with spine. It's like you're in an awesome hover position. Think about the um, core challenge you did with Lisa, if you were partaking in that, or if you do any of the core classes I know with Erin too, I think is teaching some. And maybe there are others. If there are, I'll get names eventually. Point is, you know how to hold a plank. I know Marine Valley knows how to hold a plank. Now, make a U, so that digging it in. So now we're kind of just gonna sway side to side, but the other motion. And this literally shouldn't have you making like wincing, almost like, oh my gosh, there's no way I wanna do this and this is awful and I wanna stop and I'm never coming back. But oh well, you'll come back. Push through it. Unless it's nice pain, this is okay. It's just tight fascia. All that connective tissue needs to get better blood circulation. And you are doing that for your body right now. And now breathe. Slowly walk yourself up. Whew, okay. That should have felt extremely intense. If you can now, I want you to try to come to your bottom. I'm gonna have my director make sure my head is in here. You're gonna come to your bottom and sit down and we're gonna try to do our glutes. It's fine. I look like I'm a shining star. There's a blue light, but I'll let you guys have it. Okay, so take bottom on here. What we're going to do is we're going to shift our weight to one woo, part of the bottom, and you're going to slowly roll that out. You can also use a tennis ball, or like they actually make like uh, trigger point has balls, um, any kind of, uh, it's just one I have at home, but uh, if you look on sites, or fitness rolling out balls. They're just like little or big, and they're used to get deep into the tissue. It's like a deep tissue massage you're giving yourself right now. All it is is self myofascial release. Look it up. Self myofascial release. You're literally giving yourself a massage right now for free. You're welcome again. I assure you a thank you. Thank you for being here. I am humbled every day, every time this class happens. All right, now you ready for this? The digging in part, remember this, the rainbow where we're gonna go side to side first. So roll it forward. Oh yeah, and back. If some of you feel this and don't feel it in certain spots, then move your bottom around and find a spot that's tight because I can guarantee that there's one. And now try the digging it in. So making like a U. Protect your knees, keeping those feet on the ground if you can. If you wanna intensify the stretch, ah, you don't even understand. You could do something like this. I'm only gonna show you this right now, but the next time you could also have a hip stretch going on where you place your foot over, right? And then do this. So you're opening up the hip and here. Two for one special. And let's release and let's try to go to the other side. All right. 
I'm gonna try to go to the other side. We only have about five more minutes in and we got started late. So we're gonna go for about another four to five minutes. So you guys get a full 30 minute class on. So let's do the same side with this. We're gonna come in. If you wanna start at this position where you bring this leg over, awesome. You did some hip opening in the beginning, so this should feel a little bit less tight. If that's too much, don't do it. Come to this boot. If you wanna hold on here or put support here, make sure the shoulder is supported though. So when you do do this, please make sure you have things like your wrist pushing through the first finger and your thumb, wrist, elbow, shoulder in a line. You have to move a lot. For some of you, just sitting here like this should be pretty intense. Where is the most important thing? Your breath. Watch this knee wants to come up. Do you see it wanting to be my friend? Push it away. And now try to do that roll side to side for four. Again, four is just the number. If it's six, if it's two, because it's too much, don't get too stuck in the details. And now that digging in. And you always, just so you know, I can guarantee this, on the other side, you wanna stop earlier. Do not do that. <laughs> I'm guilty for it too. Make yourself take as much time on one side of your body than the other. And you know what side you typically start with? The easier one. Oh, that's why for this one, I kinda wanna cry. So you know what, I'm gonna make sure I do a couple extra. Our brains like to take over. Mm. Who would have thought all this could happen just on a mat and sitting down, right? You were to feel this later and you're going to be like, I am so glad I did that class. I'm so glad I do this every day for 10 to 15 minutes. Do it while you're watching TV. I know I'm watching a lot more TV than I ever did. All right, lower back. I'm going to show you from the side where it's going to be located before we end this class. You're just going to place the lower part of your back and you sit yourself back here or we can let our arms eventually hang out. And you're gonna roll yourself back. So what I'm gonna do is come to the front, okay? Reposition myself a little bit. Take it, place it in the lower part of the back. And again, I'm gonna come on a side angle a little bit. And we're just gonna lift our bottom off the ground, bring our heels close to the butt, okay? Think about what I'm saying. If you want, you can hold your hands here across with the chin tuck. And you're going to walk your feet forward and walk your feet back. And you're going to roll out this lower back. Try to avoid doing this with your head. Watch. Do not do this. If you can look at this for a second, hold. Do not do this. Okay? Keep your neck in line with spine. Stay in the middle. Uh, and feel that awesome, awesome rolling out of the back. If you want to stay just on the lower back, you can simply take and just stay right here, breathing through each time. If you wanna to come to the mid back and you don't even wanna roll and you just wanna place your bottom on the ground and just open yourself up, watch. This is when you can do it when you're not moving. You can just roll yourself back if it's safe for you, open your chest and release or hold your chest and release yourself back. Bringing the neck always in line with spine. You think about it, as long as my neck is line with spine, I can come back. I just wanna make sure when I come back up, it stays there, okay? And also hold yourself here, support the neck, interlock the fingers and come back up. Go all the way to like a slight back bend. I feel like I had a twang there. <laughs> and come back up. And one more time, all the way back. For some of you, it'll be deeper than others. And all the way back up. Really place your hands on the ground and reach yourself up. To end today's class, if you need to, get a sip of water. Typical to be, just like if you get a massage and you're thirsty, it's typical. You need water is actually a really good sign. We're gonna do as we started, come up to the top. This time though, I want us to come to the side and reach all the way over. 
pointing the toes now. Open the heart to the sky. Come through the middle. Slight back bend while seated. Ignite something in yourself that you haven't before. Place the hand down. Reach all the way over. Open the heart to the sky. Set an intention of what, how, why, when, where. And most importantly, deep breath in. Slowly on an inhale and an exhale out. I wish you nothing but peace and joy in your day. Thanks. Hey, thank you guys. Let's finish exercising, hold on. Bye Aaron, thank you. Okay. Thanks guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.